With a brand new season of Fortnite, there are so many brand new skins and pickaxes in the game, and so many pros and streamers are looking for brand new combos to main, so that is exactly what we are looking at in this video, guys. I'm going to be showing you 35 combos you can main in Season 4. This list is going to include some brand new combos that we have never talked about on the channel before, and there are definitely going to be some surprises along the way as well, so make sure you guys watch all the way through to see what the number one position is. If your new main combo is in this video as well, you have to go down and hit the like button and the subscribe button, but we may as well get started off in the number 35 position and we have caper and the star wand now this is one of the most creative skins we've seen in fortnite in such a long time they actually remind me a lot of the superhero skins in terms of the customizations of them and the fact that you can create some really cool single colored combos with them when we are pairing this with something like the star wand though i did want to make a little bit of a silly combo which is the combo that you guys are seeing on screen right now i haven't really seen too many pros or streamers using this so it probably won't be one of the more popular combos in the game but we might have some more combos with this skin coming up very very soon let's move on though to the number 34 position and we have fish thick and the dumbbell driver now even though these items were designed together we still had to include them together in this video because there aren't really too many other pickaxes that are going to work with the fish thick there are so many other amazing skins from this battle pass but i actually really like the fish thick as well i think it is a really creative skin it might not be as try hard as some of the other skins we are going to talk about very soon but it is still a really good skin and something that you guys should be using in season four there are a bunch of different customizable styles with this as well so i feel like pairing it with a pretty simplistic pickaxe like the dumbbell driver is actually a really good choice but if you want a little bit more of a detailed combo then i highly recommend trying the mogul masters and the studded axe now it's completely up to you guys on what mogul master skin you actually want to use we have eight different styles in the game and each of them cost 1500 v bucks each so it is very very expensive to own all of them i think it actually works out to be over 10,000 v bucks to own every single mogul master which is just insane but that is why we are pairing this with the studded axe it basically allows you to use any of the mogul master skins in fortnite with the studded axe this is also known as one of the most try hard pickaxes in the game it is so simplistic as well and it makes literally zero sound which is why so many pros and streamers have been using it i don't think that's going to change anytime soon it's going to be really hard for a pickaxe to be added to the game that is better than the studded axe but obviously we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens let's move on though to the number 32 position and we have the studio scout and the slaughter demon the studio scout is also one of the more highly customizable skins that we do have in the game we have had a bunch of customizable skins over the last few years but i actually really like the studio scout because it was one of the first ever skins not only to be an anime customizable skin but also introduce various cell shading edit styles basically what this means is that if you do prefer to use the anime anime style skins in the game then you can still use them but you can also transfer this into a normal generic looking fortnite skin which is what a lot of people actually do prefer straight away i thought this was an amazing feature and it seems like fortnite are going to continue to introduce skins with this cell shading variant and that is so so good we saw it with the may skin in the battle pass as well but for right now i feel like the studio scout needs to be a lot more popular because of how good this skin actually is and the slaughtered demon is a perfect pickaxe for this as well because it is really simplistic it's going to fit in with all of the styles that you do create from this and that is why i have been loving this combo lately let's move on though guys to the number 31 position and we have the jolly jammer and the candy axe now even though this combo might be mained by clicks i still feel like it is a combo that you guys can use in fortnite today there are a few different styles of skins that are very similar to the jolly jammer and each of these do only cost 800 v bucks which is so incredibly cheap for these skins they all have four different edit styles as well which is really really clean i absolutely love the way these look and pairing it with the candy axe fits in with the christmas theme of it perfectly but also makes this combo a lot more try hard as well if you do want to copy clicks then the jolly jammer is going to be the skin for you but as i said there are a bunch of other skins that look the exact same that you guys can buy and it's also going to make you guys look extremely try hard moving forward though guys to the number 30 position we have siri and we are pairing this with the ebon heart battle axe this skin was introduced to the game with the latest witch a crossover i actually really like this and we have of course seen pros like clicks using this as well i really do like the way this skin looks we don't really see too many gaming legend skins staying popular in fortnite for too long though so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with siri the ebon heart battle axe fits in with this theme as well it is another gaming legends pickaxe and it is very very similar to the leviathan axe but this uses the default pickaxe animation which is again what a lot of fortnite pros prefer this skin might not be as try hard as some of the other skins we're talking about 
that though, so let's move on to the number 29 position and we have Clip and the Studded Axe. Clip is a really unique skin. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Jules as well, but obviously you could get this during the Chapter 4 Season 3 bundle and it was around $5. The Studded Axe we've already talked about, it is such an amazing pickaxe and you can pick this up for only 800 V-Bucks, so this is definitely going to be one of the cheapest combos in the game. We obviously don't know how often Clip is going to return to the store though. We might have actually seen it appear in the store for the very last time back during Chapter 4 Season 3 as well, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with this skin. I really do like the way it looks though. I feel like Fortnite could have introduced some more styles with this, but maybe that is something they look at doing in the future. There is a skin that actually got a bunch more edit styles after it got released, and the perfect example is Marigold. We are also going to be pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife, which has been one of Fortnite's best pickaxes added to the game over the last few seasons. Marigold was added back to the game during Chapter 2 Season 5. It was such an amazing skin when it first got added, and you could pick this up for around $10. I really like the way this looks because it was based off the original Midas skin, and you guys all know how popular and try hard that skin was, but Marigold was the female style, so I really did think this was actually going to become more popular and even more try hard. Because Fortnite decided to add this with real money though, I feel like a lot of people ended up not buying it, and if it had have just come to the game as like an 800 V-Bucks skin, then so many people would be using it today. I still feel like the original style is the best, but we did get a secondary edit style added a few weeks ago as well, which also looks really clean, and that is also the main reason why we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. It's going to fit in with whichever style you guys end up using, and that is what is going to be best for this combo. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number 27 position, and we have Drosera, and we're pairing this with the Star 1. This is actually one of the latest skins to be added to Fortnite, and it is sort of a mechanized female skin. I actually really like this. It is actually really unique, and unlike a lot of the other skins we've seen being added to Fortnite over the last few seasons, the Star Wand is by far going to be the best pickaxe to match this skin as well. Not only does it fit in with the pink on this skin, but it actually makes it a very tryhard combo as well. I would have loved to include this a lot higher up in this video, but because it is such a new skin, we just don't know how popular it is going to be in the future. You can also pick this combo up for only 2,000 V-Bucks, making it one of the cheapest and most affordable combos in this video. Our next skin though is definitely one that has been a lot more popular over the last few weeks, and this is the FNCS Renegade skin, and we are pairing this with the Love Lawn. FNCS Renegade is basically an FNCS style of the Renegade Raider. It sort of looks more like the Renegade Runner though, which is still really cool, and the Love Lawn is going to be the best pickaxe for this, because it actually looks like the Axe of Champions 2.0, which is the pickaxe that you get if you are the best Fortnite player in the world and managed to win an FNCS tournament in Fortnite. I think the FNCS Renegade would have to be the best FNCS skin they have ever released. We obviously got the Dummy Supreme a few seasons ago, which was easily one of my favorites, and Championship Aura as well, but FNCS Renegade is just on a whole other level. This skin is never going to return to the store though, because these FNCS skins only feature in the store once and then they are gone forever. So if you guys did manage to pick this up, make sure you still use it in Season 4. We may as well move on to the number 25 position, guys, and we have Medley and we are pairing this with the Bold Bar. Medley has been one of the best summer skins we've seen in a really long time. You could pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks as well, which is really good for a skin that has four different edit styles. Usually these skins could cost anywhere from 1,500 all the way up to 2,000 V-Bucks. So the fact that you get four different edit styles for such a cheap price is really, really clean. The Bold Bar is going to be a good choice for this as well because it is quite a simplistic pickaxe. I feel like it is a sweaty pickaxe as well that is just so underrated right now but maybe it won't fit in perfectly with every single edit style like the icebreaker or the driver would, but I still feel like the bold bar is the best choice for this combo right now. But next up guys, we also need to mention another summer skin and this is the Surf Witch and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. In terms of tryhardness, this has actually been one of the more tryhard skins we have ever seen in the game. So many pros and streamers have been using this across the last few seasons, but I feel like recently it has dropped off in popularity a lot, and we don't really see too many pros or streamers using it anymore. Fortnite just definitely need to introduce some brand new styles for this. I feel like we got two styles when this skin was first added to the game, and they haven't added any more since, which just really sucks. If they did add some more edit styles, like a golden edit style, then it would easily be one of the best skins in Fortnite right now, and a lot more popular than it is, but until that happens, just feel like it is going to continue to decrease in popularity. You can pick up this entire combo for 2,000 V-Bucks as well, so it is quite cheap.
cheap, but something that might be just a little bit cheaper is going to be our next combo, and this is Zadie and Catwoman's Grappling Claw. In terms of edit styles, Zadie actually has a few more. This has three different edit styles, and it does cost 1,200 V-Bucks as well, so it is the same price as the Surf Witch, but you actually get more different styles. Catwoman's Grappling Claw is the best pickaxe for this because it is really simplistic. It also fits in with every single style of Zadie, which is so, so clean, and it has actually started to become quite a tryhard pickaxe as well over the last few seasons, which is what I absolutely love to see. Unfortunately though, because it is a DC pickaxe, we just don't know how often this is going to return to the store in the future, but I really hope this does return to the store a lot more because it has been one of my favorite pickaxes. Let's talk about another OG skin, guys. Coming in at the number 22 position, we have Midas and the Gold Pro. Midas has been one of the best Fortnite skins ever released, and this was first added to the game during Chapter 2, Season 2. This was the Tier 100 skin, and a lot of people actually think this reminds them of this season as well, which is actually so insane because that is definitely the vibes that Chapter 4, Season 4 is giving off. I absolutely love this skin. I think all of the edit styles for it are incredible. I just wish you could have unlocked both the Ghost and Shadow style for it, but unfortunately that wasn't what happened. The Gold Crow is also the perfect pickaxe for this. It fits in with both edit styles of the skin, regardless of if you are using the default style, the Shadow or Ghost style, and of course the fully golden edit style as well. It doesn't return to the store that often though, but a few items that you can probably get in Fortnite right now is the Piper Pace skin, and we are pairing this with the Cold Snap pickaxe. Piper Pace is available in the Battle Pass, and you can pick this up for only 950 V-Bucks, and the Cold Snap pickaxe has been reappearing in the store a lot more, especially since this pickaxe was included with the Clicks bundle. I do love the way this combo looks. I actually think these items work really well together, and I haven't seen too many other people using it, which is always good to see. If you guys are looking to stand out and want to use a combo that hardly anyone else is using, but is also considered to be quite tryhard, then this is definitely going to be the combo for you. Because it is a Battle Pass skin though, I feel like a lot of people are definitely going to start using this as the season progresses, but if you want to use a combo that probably not too many people are using right now. One that I would highly recommend is Combat Tech Jewels, and we're going to pair this with the Sockham Socket. Combat Tech Jewels is one of my favorite skins that Fortnite has added recently. This just looks so, so clean, and I don't know if we're ever going to see a skin as well designed as this this season. I also think the Sockham Socket matches in with this perfectly. It almost looks like a pickaxe that should have been designed for Combat Tech Jewels instead of the Clip skin, but for some reason, Fortnite just did it the other way around. I love both of these items, though. They are are starting to become more and more tryhard as the season progresses, which is always really good to see. But our next combo has definitely been more popular, and this is the Chaos Explorer, and we are pairing this with the Vision Pickaxe. I've talked about this combo a few times. I feel like the Chaos Explorer should be a lot more popular in Fortnite, but one of the main reasons for this is that Fortnite actually introduced this as a brand new skin instead of adding this as an edit style for either the Chaos Origins or the original Chaos Agent skin. If they had have done that, that, then a lot more people would still be using this today. I feel like it is quite good though that Fortnite introduced this at a price of only 800 V-Bucks because it does only have one style, but they could have made this skin a lot better with a lot more different styles. We need to talk about one of the most iconic combos in the history of Fortnite though, and this is Aura, and we're pairing it with the Driver Pickaxe. I feel like I've talked about this combo so many times on my channel before, so we probably won't talk about it too much, but I've been using this so much lately, and a lot of pros and streamers have stopped using it as well. So if you are looking for a combo to main, this could be the perfect one. It just looks so, so clean. We have a bunch of different styles of aura now in the game as well, which just makes it so much better. And I think this is definitely going to be a combo that stays popular and try hard for a really long time. Let's move on though, guys, to the number 17 position. And we have Carby Lame, and we're pairing this with the Scully Scepter. A lot of you guys have absolutely been loving this skin. I also really like the way it looks, and it is such an amazing icon series skin. I feel like not a lot of people actually predicted that this would ever come to the game. There are a lot of creators that are rumored to be getting an Icon Series skin in the future, like Typical Gamer and Nick A30, but I feel like no one would have predicted Carby Lame coming to the game. This skin also has a bunch of different styles, so I feel like this Scully Scepter is going to be a really good pickaxe for this. But if you have any other pickaxes that are going to suit this skin, make sure to let me know what they are in 
the comments down below. Let's move on though to a combo that not too many people have been using and this is Chani and we are pairing this with the Harley Hitter. Chani has been in Fortnite for quite a while now. This was first introduced back during chapter two and I feel like I've actually been talking about this so much because I absolutely love the way this skin looks. We are also rumored to be getting a second June movie very, very soon, which will only make this skin even more popular. But until then, it is definitely one of the more underrated skins in the game and hopefully that changes soon. I love the way this skin looks. I think it is one of the cleanest skins we have ever seen, and the Harley Hitter is just going to fit in with this so, so perfectly. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number 15 position, and we have Spark Plug, and we are pairing this with the Cold Snap. This is definitely a combo that a lot of people have been using recently because this is Clix's main combo. The only reason I'm including this in a video for you guys to main brand new combos that no one else is using is because Clix does change around his combo so much that I feel like he doesn't really main one combo anymore. This is definitely the combo that made him popular though. He was using this all the time when he first started streaming and was competing in tournaments back during chapter one and chapter two. But more recently, he does change around his skin and combo quite a bit. So I feel like this is the perfect time for you guys to start maining it. Sparkplug does also have a brand new style for this as well, which just makes it even better. That takes us to the number 14 position, guys, and we have the Agency Renegades Bundle, and we are pairing this with the Vault Guardian. The Agency Renegades Bundle did set you back around $15, but it has definitely been one of the best bundles Fortnite has ever introduced to the game. Not only did you get three different skins in this, but you also got some pickaxes as well, which definitely make this bundle worth it, but there are really only two skins that we need to focus on, and this is Spycatcher Siren and Shady Zadie. Both of these skins have two different styles. We sort of have have a lighter style and a darker style and it's completely up to you guys to pick which skin you actually want to use. They all look so so clean and I feel like that is why the Vault Guardian is going to be the best pickaxe for this because it's going to fit in with every single style of the skin. You can also use this pickaxe with our next combo and this is Caper and we are pairing it again with the Vault Guardian. We already mentioned Caper in this video but we just had to mention it again because so many people have been using it. I've been loving this skin lately as well. There are so many amazing styles that you can create with the caper skin so for this i thought we would create a lighter edit style i just feel like that fits the theme of the vault guardian a little bit better you can obviously create a fully white style and add some golden accents to it with the emotes on the skin but if you guys just want a more simplistic skin then you don't need to include any emotes this skin is actually quite cheap as well coming in at 1200 v bucks and if you guys are picking this up make sure to use code cairo yt in the fortnite item shop that takes us to the number 12 position though guys and we have Kato Thorn and we are pairing this with the Studded Axe. Now for this combo you actually want to start using the Revenant edit style of this skin. I feel like that is going to be the best edit style. It also sort of looks like a vampire which is just really really clean. We don't have too many other skins in Fortnite that look like a vampire so this is definitely really unique and hopefully it does stay popular for the rest of the season. I've been using this quite a bit. I feel like a lot of the communities actually sort of split on whether the Kato skin is better or or the Nolan skin is better, but for right now, I think the Revenant style of Kato is definitely one of the best we have seen in a really long time. That takes us to the number 11 position there, guys, and we have Saturo, and we're pairing this with Megumi Sword. This has definitely dropped off in popularity over the last few weeks. It was added to the game during Chapter 4 Season 3 with the Jujutsu Kaisen collab, and I just feel like so many people were using this when it first got introduced that it has started to drop off. We never really saw too many people maining this combo though, so if you guys are looking for a brand new combo to main, then this might be the perfect one for you. I've actually really been enjoying it. There are a few different styles for this as well, which just make it even better, but there are some better combos coming up very, very soon, so make sure you guys keep on watching. One of those better combos though would have to be the Gold-Blooded Ace, and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. The Gold-Blooded Ace was introduced to the game at the start of Chapter 4 for the highest theme of that season. Season. Since Chapter 4 Season 4 has a similar heist theme, I think this is actually perfect for this season. It has also been featuring in the store a lot, which is actually really good. I originally thought this was going to be a season exclusive skin and was never going to return to the store again, but now that it has been in the store for quite a while during Chapter 4 Season 4, it is definitely a skin that you guys need to buy and start mating today. I don't think it'll ever reach the popularity of something like Siren and the Leviathan Axe though, just because this has been one of the best 
and most popular combos in the history of Fortnite. So many people have absolutely loved this combo. We've seen a bunch of pros and streamers maining it over the last few years as well, like Benji Fishy and a bunch of other pros. But ever since Benji Fishy left, I feel like no one was really maining this skin. If you guys do like the way this looks though, you can definitely start maining it today. And if you guys want to stand out even more, then I highly recommend using the Noir edit style, which is actually a really unique skin and unlike anything we have ever seen before in the game. That takes us to the number eight position though, guys. And we need to include one of the rarest skins in this video, and that is the Psycho Bandit. And we are pairing it with the Leviathan Axe. The Psycho Bandit is one of my favorite skins of all time. I just think this is such an amazing skin but unfortunately we are never going to see it being added back to the game it was first available back during chapter one season x when we had a crossover with borderlands but you still had to spend around 40 dollars in order to get that skin and we just haven't seen it in the store since then so it doesn't seem like it is ever going to be added back unless fortnite does another promotion with borderlands hopefully that does happen though because this is one of my favorite skins of all time and it just fits in with the leviathan axe so perfectly we had to include it on the list you can also use this pickaxe with our next combo though, and this is going to be the Lara Croft skin with the Leviathan Axe. Now, this is definitely a combo that a lot more people have been using over the last few seasons. It has actually been really popular since it was first introduced during Chapter 2 Season 6, but for some reason, this actually managed to become even more popular once that season ended. That is something that never ever happens with Fortnite skins. Usually, they get less and less popular if they are a Battle Pass skin, but somehow this got even more popular. I do love the way it looks though. It looks so, so sick, and it is one of my favorite Battle Pass skins of all time. We do see a bunch of people meaning it though, so if you guys do want to stand out, maybe try out one of the other edit styles for this skin. Let's move forward though, guys, to the number six position, and this is Travis Scott with the Harley Hitter. Similar to a bunch of other combos we've already talked about, this has definitely been one of the more popular ones over the last few seasons, but it's really hard to see if there are any pros still meaning this today. We do have pros like Mr. Savage that still use this skin all the time, along with a bunch of other pros, but I feel like Mr. Savage is known for a bunch of different skins in the history of Fortnite, so we don't really know if this is still his main skin today. It does look really clean though, I am a huge fan of this skin, and obviously it is also extremely rare because it has only featured in the item shop once. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below, but our next combo is going to be one of the more popular ones this season, and this is May, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. May is actually the anime style skin from this battle pass fortnite seemed to be introducing an anime style skin every single season which always looks really cool but may would have to be one of the best it also has that cell shading variant that we talked about earlier on in this video but you can change around the actual shading of this skin to make it look more like a normal fortnite skin that is always so so sick we've seen a bunch of pros and streamers like the x2 twins using this a lot as well which just makes it even better but i still feel like nolan chance and the Vault Guardian is a better combo right now. This is the tier one skin during this season. It actually reminds me a lot of the Midas skin as well, which is probably why it is featuring up so high on this list, but I've been loving it so far in Fortnite and I feel like the golden and white edit style is going to be the best. It is a little bit of a grind to unlock this though, because you do have to complete some challenges, but as soon as you unlock it, it is definitely going to be one of the best skins in your locker. It just looks so, so good and he's going to fit in with the Vault Guardian so perfectly you guys are going to absolutely love it because it is a battle pass skin as well no one has really started to main this skin yet which means it is perfect for you guys to main in season four let's move on though guys to the number three position and we have the superhero skins and the leviathan axe i'm sure a lot of you guys expected this skin to feature in this video the superhero skins have just been some of the best and most popular skins we have ever seen in the history of fortnite and that's probably not going to change anytime soon it just looks so so clean there are so many different customizable styles you can make with this as well. A lot of people have been meaning the fully white edit style or the fully gray edit style of these skins, but if you guys do want to stand out, I recommend getting creative and trying out some styles we have never seen before. There is one combo that has been a little bit more popular over the last few weeks though, and that is going to be Antonia, and we are pairing this with Leon's Combat Knife. 
Antonia has been one of my favourite skins so far. It is obviously a Battle Pass skin during this season as well, and a lot of pros and streamers have actually been using this over the last few weeks. And it's been a long time since we've seen a Battle Pass skin becoming this popular straight away. I love the way this skin looks though, and even though we have a bunch of different styles, I honestly feel like the default style is going to be the best. But there is one combo that is just a little bit better, and this has to be Caper, and we are pairing this with the Icebreaker. Obviously, Caper has already featured in this video a few times, but I still feel like we need to include it in at the number one position because it has been one of the most popular skins we have seen in Fortnite. There are also just so many different styles you can make with this skin. I feel like including it only once really doesn't do it justice, but there are so many pros and streamers using this today. I still want to let it be a little bit creative and just show you a bunch of different styles for this skin. We have also been waiting for this skin since the start of chapter four. So now that it is finally here, it does not disappoint but there you guys go that is my list for 35 combos that you can main in season four i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time